In today's edition of the IPS Film Room, we are going to look at all eight of Chris Bell's made three-pointers in the Syracuse win over NC State. We'll give you some thoughts on what NC State did wrong, uh, how much of this was Bell, how much of this was Syracuse, how much of this was on NC State. And so let's jump right into it. Very first one here we're looking at, NC State's up 2-0, and this is as basic as it gets. Uh, Bell is playing at the top corner, just kind of a floor spacer. State has two on the ball. Uh, feed inside to Malik Brown, and D.J. Horn gets caught digging in too far, and he's unable to recover. And give Brown credit, really good kickout pass. Bell is shot ready. You know, a couple of things I think NC State could have done better here is I like having two on the ball. The problem is I think Burns has his hands too low here. Like as a big there playing against a guard, you need your hands high. You need to make that a hard pass for Mintz there, and he doesn't because he's down reaching trying to get a steal or trying to get a, a deflection. And even though even O'Connell's able to get a hand up late, but if Burns just has his hands up, that pass is tougher. It's not as much of a straight line. And you're able to disrupt it a little better, I think, and could potentially prevent this this uh, closeout or this this quick kick out to, uh, to Bell. Because NC State ends up with three guys on Brown here. And in that situation – it's good help defense, but it's too much help defense. You never want to have three guys around the ball. That's going to put you in too much of an issue. Burns is able to recover, um, and, and you probably would like Marcel to stay. Like, if you're going to tag this with Horn, you probably want Marcel, Marcel staying out so he can rotate to the shooter. But because he gets caught too deep in the post trying to overhelp, that leads to a really good kickout pass. And Bell's able to knock it down, and burn, and Horn's able to get out, you know, get in the air, but too quick of a release, too good of a release from Bell, able to knock it down. The second one's in transition. State's not able to get matched up quickly, but I still think this is a great three pointer by Bell. I mean, this is no hesitation. Look how quick he shoots this. Horn, his man, is still able to get out on him on the catch. I mean, he closes out. You look at him here on the catch. I mean, that is not a lot of space before this shot's off, but. Chris Bell is 6'6", 6'7", D.J. Horn is 6'2". Horn is not threatening his release. And that's another issue with State playing a guard on him in this situation. You're not threatening his release here. I mean, he's able to comfortably shoot over the top of Horn and knock that one down. Again, you see it's with 25 seconds to go on the shot clock. That is not a wide open three, folks. So, I mean, we can call the first one wide open. I would not call that one wide open. You see here from the back angle how Bell's able to get this off so quickly. Really good shot here. Third one, again, roll man rolling. State's getting caught helping. Now, I think on this one, this one is on Horn. In this situation, I'm letting Mo Diara now be that tag man. And he's in the paint. He's tagging. You've got Justin Taylor, his man, playing the, the rim. Diara is able to get over. But, you, again, you end up with three men around the ball. You end up with three men around the ball versus two. And – that leads to another kick out to Bell. Horn's able to get back out, force him to put it on the floor and sidestep to his left, but he still makes a tough three-pointer. I mean, that's not an easy shot. Another look at it here on the kick out. Horn gets out to him. He puts it on, on the floor, moves to his left, knocks it down. I don't consider that an open move, a shot because you put a catch-and-shoot guy on the move. And in closeout situations, that's what you want to do. You want to move him off his spot, force him to shoot off the dribble, I talked about it coming into this game. Chris Bell has not shot the ball well from three on the road this year. You want to take away those clean catch-and-shoot opportunities State did there. He still was able to knock it down. Here's another where Michael O'Connell gets caught as a tag man looking to help. Now, same situation here. You end up with how many guys around Brown. The pass doesn't go there because Judah Mintz does a good job of playing with his head up and looking to go straight to Bell. And it doesn't take much for him to get his shot off. And you see here, O'Connell's in help mode. Bell is just so quick with that release. Like, again, that's not wide open to me. That is just a really quick release. And only from a guy who shot ready, he knocks it down. Fourth one here, this is really, I think, the only one where they actually ran a set to get Bell a look. He comes open off of a down screen, and Taylor's not able to get to him over the top. Middlebrooks probably could help and hedge a little quick more there. Like he doesn't too. He's hesitant to. I mean, he's kind of in no man's land. Like in that situation with as hot as Bell is, you probably want Middlebrooks hedging a little more, but he does it. And Bell again, <laughs> drifting to his left, 
off the curl. Taylor still gets there and gets a hand a hand up. I mean, like, I don't think that's terrible defense, but Bell is on fire right now. I mean, he's he has it rolling. He's shooting with confidence, knocks it down. This one's another in transition. You know, we saw one earlier. State was state gave up in transition. They're running their 2-2-1 pressure here, and you kind of leave DJ Burns out on an island. Now, from a basketball IQ standpoint, a situation in terms of what's going on in this game, Cal Cuff catches the ball here at the top of the key. You're taught to do what Burns does, which is to almost kind of split it and two-man it. But I'd still rather him just shade straight to Bell, given how hot Bell is. And instead, he closes more towards the ball, which that's tendency. That's just a five-man not comfortable playing in this position. Your press can sometimes put you in that position. And you're often taught to go from guard to shooter. And so, you know, your hope is typically you get a rotation there to where somebody else will be able to get to the corner man, but Diara doesn't rotate out. And this is one of those plays where, again, when I talk about not wanting to play big, this is another example. If you're playing one big man here, that's a guard who's maybe able to defend that better. And even if that's Burns in that same spot, you're going to have another guard who might be able to get out to, to bail quicker. Diara just doesn't even leave the rim. He just stays low. And you just leave Burns in in – no man's land like hey, there's nothing he can really do here and I think I mean obviously you you say hey stay with Bell don't leave him but the tendency is to go to the ball and stop ball and, and and force an extra pass and see if your help can rally and rotate and it just doesn't come from DR there so this is the one where when I talk about playing smaller where it would benefit you against Syracuse this is one of those examples because I don't think DR was able to rotate out. And again, even when you look at it from this angle, look at how quick Bell is with this release. I mean, like he's not even looking at the rim. He's catching and shooting it and letting it go. Next one, we're going to look at another on a tag situation. Uh, really good pass from, from um, Copeland. Marcel gets his hands up to force a high pass. But the problem is you've got DJ Burns in help mode. And State's actually playing small here. They're playing small here. But you still, what do you end up with? Again, three around the ball. Shouldn't have three around the basketball. You know, if I'm if I'm horn in that situation, I have to. I might have said DJ Burns earlier, but if I'm horn in that situation, I might have to just stay out on Bell at this point and let Breon pass and Middle Brooks be the help man. And even though you do that, like Jaden Taylor, you have to be ready to rotate quicker. He's kind of standing watching just for a split second. Now he's able to get out and recover. The pass allows him to recover and also force Bell to put it on the floor. Sidestep this time to his right, knocks it down. You, you see it here from the angle over the top. Really good passing from Syracuse. Ball doesn't stop, doesn't stick the floor. Brown with the kick out. Taylor does what you're supposed to do, forces him to put it on the ground. He just makes another one, this time drifting to his right. That's not an easy shot. And then finally, here's the, the last one we're going to look at, his A3 in the game, Breon pass, peaking. You know, he, his responsibility is bail in the corner. He's playing the rim. He hesitates and tries to reach in again. This time, what do you have? Three guys around the ball, fourth with Taylor there. Can't have that. He gets out, closes out, but because Bell is shot ready and confident, he shoots it and knocks it down with confidence. You see here the other angle of it. Breon pass just peaks for a split second, and that's all it takes to allow Bell to get that shot off. So we looked at all eight of the mates in this game. I didn't see a ton of wide-open opportunities. Um, maybe two, I would say, were wide open. The one in transition where Burns got kind of caught splitting two guys, and you could maybe say some, say that about the first one. But the others, he had guys with a hand in his face. He was catching them on the curl. He was taking them off the dribble. Like, these weren't clean looks. And I just give Chris Bell a lot of credit. Now, State's defense certainly could have been better. I don't like constantly being in a situation where you ended up with three guys around the basketball. For those of you who want State to protect the rim and take away layups, that's what they were trying to do. So, you know, there's multiple ways you can defend these ball screen actions. I think you can be bigger on the ball. Like I talked about earlier, I thought D.J. Burns had a couple where his hands were low, could have made the pass a little tougher for the guard. But really, when I watch these back, I see a lot of good offense from Syracuse, a lot of guys willing to make the extra pass. You know, playing Brown at the five for them, he's basically a four. And, and a guard, a big forward. So 
He's comfortable catching the ball and passing. So a lot of these are on him, making the extra pass, willing to make the extra pass, taking advantage of state helping. Really good offense from Syracuse. State could have played better defense, but this is one where I, when I watch it back, I tip my hat to Chris Bell. I thought he, he shot the ball really, really well, and Syracuse did a great job of finding him.